It is the last Monday of the month, and the last Monday of every month, I want to highlight a female founder, a female business owner. Now, actually, the story I'm going to share with you today, she's not a founder, but she is what made Tupperware what it is today. I'm going to share with you the story of Brownie Wise, as told by Bob Keeling in the book, The Life of the Party. So Brownie was basically a door-to-door salesman. That's how sales were done in the 40s and early 50s was, you know, door-to-door salesman, and she was really the inventor of the home party. Tupperware was the inventor of that home party, and Mary Kay as well. And so I've heard a lot about the Mary Kay story, but I hadn't heard anything about the Tupperware story. So I downloaded this this summer and listened to it as an audible. It was great. The reviews everywhere about, it's amazing. She was not the founder of Tupperware, but if she had not come along, you would not even know what Tupperware is, because while the product was great and the intellectual patent was intact, The person that owned it was not a salesperson and Brownie definitely was. So she was selling door to door. She started doing parties. She started recruiting people. When she started with Tupperware, it was much more like a territory, like you got a territory in order to represent these products. And then they developed more into the traditional direct sales model that you're used to seeing today. She had huge national conventions. She had them create different sales incentives, mostly so she could win them. She ended up divorcing her husband and raising her child independently while she was representing Tupperware. And she did this all in the 1950s with a lot of other men, like most of the people selling Tupperware were men. And she helped create this industry for women. Um, She was a huge visionary and she was not very into the details. And that's why she kept getting in trouble. Like she'd be like, no, we need to have these home parties and you need to do it this way and we need to ship things. Um, And she would not back down. So Mr. Tupper was the one that owned the company and she would constantly push back and say, no, we need to do this. Or sometimes just do it, you know, do it and then ask forgiveness later. And eventually she pushed too far and he fired her and it was very sad at the end, which is why we don't know a lot about Brownie Wise. But now that we have this book, a lot of people have read it and I... I love direct sales. I Direct sales is my background. And I love hearing how she was able to influence so much in that company without even being the owner. So it's a great listen. If you ever had Tupperware growing up, which I'm sure you did, who didn't, right? Um, I think you would enjoy this story as well. Subscribe to our channel. We'll have the next book review on Monday.